All right, in this video, just made two trips to Sam's Club to grab some products. So I'm gonna show you what we got for our vending machines. And uh, let me know if you guys sell any of this stuff or what you think about what we bought. But yeah, the price tag was actually 4,300. So first up, as you can see right there, we've got a couple layers of uh, Dr. Pepper. So when it gets down that low, just go ahead and order in an entire new pallet. So just buy the full pallet. We don't piece it out. That's how it comes from Dr. Pepper to Sam's Club. So you just buy that entire brick, brick right there. Next, let's go to this pallet right here. What do we have here? A bunch of chips. So we actually sell two different sizes of chips, the smaller one ounce and then two ounce bags. But when they put you, you put your order together online and they wrap it all up for you. So it's all um, ready to go. Order 10, 15, whatever you need. Also, you'll see some of these in here. This is great if you're, if you're trying to get a price point on something that's a lot of value, try these out. Donuts, great price on those. And they sell like crazy. They have the sugar donuts and the chocolate donuts. As you can see the other side, we've got some pork rinds. We've got some popcorn and some more Cheetos. So that's, pa that's palette trip number one. Grab the Dr. Pepper and that. Next, let's look at this other palette here with some snacks. See if you can see here, we've got the uh, honey buns. We've got our protein bars. We've got Oreos, body armor, Gatorade, more pastries. That we're gonna all put that up on the shelf. Also, final palette. They stack this one pretty high here, but that's what we're gonna go with right there. So the bottom layer, we've got the Diet Coke cans, Coke bottles, Sprite bottles, Monster Energy, a little bit of Bang Energy. A lot of the younger crowd likes this Bang Energy drink now. So all that totaled, all that totaled up, even our little ramen noodle cups right there, $4,300. Um, we have a Sam's Club close, so just make a couple trips, a couple trips to Sam's Club on that old F-250 Ford back there. So we bring it in, we'll check it off, make sure everything is, uh, is there. And you wanna make sure your order comes in complete, nothing's missing. So again, what do you think? Full brick Dr. Pepper, all the snacks, all the treats. Now it's not everything we use, but if you'll see up here where we store our chips, looking a little bit low. A little bit low so they are having some a little bit of supply issues with the chips they are moving from the straight 50 count boxes to these variety mixes so it's harder to get in um, straight flavor packs from sam's club now a lot of people will ask well adam why do you guys go to sam's club not so much on youtube but on all the social medias why don't you go to coke why don't you go to pepsi there's one simple reason of why everyone, unless your area is different and you can get a better price, the price is a hundred times better, not literally, but almost on every single item, whether you do Costco's, BJ's, wherever you wanna go, Sam's Club has a better price. Now we have had to go to say uh, Restaurant Depot to get some chips, but even there, <laughs> I went in there uh, two weeks ago to get the chips right here they, they got rid of their limits on their chips. So I walked in, grabbed the cart, um, actually told the guy to drop down a whole pallet, about 50 cases of chips, go to check out. The manager stopped me, said, I'm sorry, we, we can't do that because all of our, uh, that's all of our supply. We're having supply issues. So I thought they were going to be a, uh, a great uh, supplier, but then they, they took, uh, so I can only do five each. And that's leaving us where we are right now with the bare minimum so i'm going to go there today after this and see um, if we can get some more of those uh ruffles in you know just the different flavors nachos doritos uh that people like so hopefully hopefully sam's club gets back on their deal 
Big chips haven't had a really a big problem with the flaming hot. Super good seller if you're if you're looking for a chip to sell. Flaming hot Cheetos multi pack, definitely something to uh, to consider. Um, but yeah, so that's basically we don't order. For example, there's our water, right? We've got a bunch of water, so we won't order water till that runs down. We're going about about two pallets a month of that 20 ounce Zephyr Hills water. So when that runs down, then we'll put it in order. We just got a pallet last week of that. So hope this video kind of helps you understand the inner workings. You don't need a big warehouse. You don't need all this product. I didn't start like this. I have a picture I'm actually gonna post when I was working out of a, uh, a little two bedroom house storing product in the dining room, storing bottles and stuff in the dining room. So you don't need this huge, all this square footage. Talking to a guy yesterday he works out of a little transit van, doesn't have inventory, just loads up his van and goes fills his machine. So you can work out of a minivan, SUV, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Um, uh, he doesn't do pre-kitting because he has, doesn't have anywhere to store the product. So if you have somewhere to store the product, you can try out and do the pre-kitting where you build your order before you go to the account. So just some little tips and uh, tricks, but yeah, this, you don't need all this to get started, but you do need the right information. Hillvending.com forward slash start. Grab the free download. If you need the ebook, that's there too. In the full course, hop in to that. Anyway, that is what we spent at Sam's Club this week. And we'll actually probably spend more because we don't store chocolate here. We don't have a big freezer cooler full of chocolate because sometimes this area can have power issues. You know, we are in Champa Bay lightning capital of the world so the power goes out you have your chocolate you have your your cold items what's going to happen going to go bad it's going to spoil so we do not store that so what we'll do is um, offset the big delivery days with runs to sam's club to load up on either something they are out of chocolate maybe a certain pastry that they didn't have in so that's kind of the the setup but this big artillery day this big Tuesday artillery dump is when we can really make uh, some progress and dump in a lot of products. So appreciate you watching the video. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe before we get banned um, for showing off all the inner workings of the vending business. But remember, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh. Have a great day.